To attach the ID to the harness, we start by holding the ID with the sliding plate facing up and the attachment hole closest to our body. Install a locking carabiner to the attachment hole, then rotate the carabiner and attach to the large metal ventral D. To install the rope, open the moving side plate and raise the handle slightly to allow the cam to move. Install the rope around the cam. Close the moving side plate and make sure that the gate closes completely. Visually check that the rope is installed in the direction indicated by the icons marked on the device. Perform a function check by making sure the rope locks in the correct direction. To descend, run the rope over the brake plate and gradually pull the handle to allow the rope to slide, always holding the brake side of the rope. Before letting go of the brake side of the rope, make sure the handle has properly returned to the stop position. The auto lock system locks the load automatically. The anti-panic function automatically stops the descent if the user pulls the handle too far. To resume the descent, allow the handle to return to the stop position before operating it again. Install the ascender and foot loop on the rope above the ID. The simple technique is to stand in the foot loop to unweight the ID while simultaneously pulling the brake side of the rope up toward the anchor. Smoothly transfer weight back to the ID, move the foot loop up, and repeat. Another method is to pass the brake side of the ID rope through a pulley or carabiner on the ascender. Pull down on this rope while simultaneously standing in the foot loop. Climbing effort is reduced, but progress per cycle is less than with the simple technique. Remove the rope by opening the moving side plate and raising the handle slightly to allow the cam to disengage from the rope. Always close the side plate for storage when not in use.